Hi everyone, how are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to show you amazing photos that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by displaying these photos. But that's the whole point. These photos are proof that a small occult elite of a and the history to fit their narrative. To be honest, this channel is in danger, maybe it will gone soon. Therefore, I hope you guys subscribe my backup channel, so we can stay connected every day. Please check the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Boilerplate, the Tartarian Automaton from 1893. This robot was made for assistance to soldiers in quelling wars. The stories say that it got lost in World War I. However, many stories written, like comics of the adventures of Boilerplate. Maybe some stones are better left unturned by the mainstream history. We just barely invented the electricity for the first time, and we were already making boxing robots. This giant sword was made by Asafu Norimitsu in 1447. It was forged as one piece. The sword is owned by Kibitsu Shrine in Okayama Prefecture. The blade was covered in rust before Akasato polished in 1992. The giant sword is 12.5 feet long, or about 3.8 meters, the body being 7.5 feet or about 2.3 meters, and the Nakago 5 feet. It weighs about 14.5 kilograms. Only a 10-feet samurai would have wielded such a big sword. Legend around a nearby town says that if you slay the giant, you get to keep his sword as proof. Giants exist, and the evidence that back it up is endless. Only giant would have to wield such a big sword. On the first coins minted in the USA, Philadelphia, 1792, there were no words about faith in God, but there were words. Science, industry and freedom. Freedom is the parent of science and industry. Freemasons Magazine, April 15, 1965. Under whatever name known, the objects of the society, have been the same politically the overthrow of the Tartars, and generally, the formation of mutually protective associations. German and Russian researchers have discovered that the pyramids of Giza in Egypt conveys electromagnetic energy into the inner chambers and focuses on the underground bottom. It has been found that they emit torsion waves, similar to those used by Nikola Tesla. Our atmosphere is filled with energy, and this energy can be harnessed by technologies like the Pyramid of Giza and Tech Like It. This is one of many devices that harness free energy. The Pyramids of Giza is one of the biggest free energy devices. This also proves that the ancient civilizations were much more advanced than us. How the atmospheric ether generator is supposed to function. This inside generator is supposed to make electricity from the ionosphere with electromagnetic vibrations and frequencies. 99.9% .9 of these ancient buildings have the inner electrical tech completely removed after the reset. However, there are still a bunch of them saved from getting destroyed and will be revealed when the parasites are no longer in charge. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Anyway, fog in Indonesia, makes the sky turn red. This photo was taken on September 23, 2019. They say that the phenomenon is caused by fires. April 1, 2020, forest fires turn the sky red in Australia. 
This is from Oregon, EUA, September 9, 2020. Red skies due to forest fires. Sao Paulo, Brazil, April 15, 2020. Now science says that the strange coloration of the sky was caused by a phenomenon called Rayleigh scattering, in which light is scattered by particles, causing the sky to change color. On May 7, 2020, the sky in Niamey, the capital of Nigeria, turned blood red, according to science and media, the phenomenon was caused by sandstorms. Why do the media say that pollution, particles of sand or ice in the air, soot from fires, fog, can cause a red sky? Are they lying to the population? Now, let's take a look at the ancient paintings depicting the red sky. The red sky is observed on many paintings. Satyrs were painted under a red sky. This picture shows angels were painted under a red sky. And many more. Can anyone explain all this? Put your answer in the comment section. By the way, let's take a look at the stuff belonging to the giants. People two centuries ago made abnormally large instruments unplayable by any modern-sized man because, reasons. That is if you believe in the textbooks from schools. Li Qingyuan, born in the Qing Dynasty of China, who claims to have been born in 1736, whilst his record states 1677, he died in 1933. Human beings are not meant to live only 80 years. This is a modern-day hoax. We are dying prematurely. What this man lived to witness is what has been cleansed from our history textbooks. Three of many Abkhazian men who wield extreme longevity. These people are known to regularly live up to 150 years of age. Why are we spoon-fed by the media that the oldest person to live only ever lived to 122? What was the true source of lighting for the chandeliers? In various museums around the world, and in many old rooms, there are many chandeliers and candlesticks with holes for placing some objects candles. We are constantly convinced that candles have been inserted into these chandeliers, and this despite the fact that there are considerable distances from the floor to the chandeliers themselves, and that there is not the slightest trace of soot on the ceilings. The Ames Monument, Wyoming, USA. Claim is that this was erected between 1880 to 1882 in honor of the Ames brothers. The Ames brothers were wrought with fraud during the construction of the Transcontinental Railroad. This pyramid was said to have been built with local granite dragged from miles away, hard to believe with the foundation stones weighing several thousand pounds each. Mysteriously enough, there is a passage into the pyramid which has now been sealed. According to the mainstream account, the Philadelphia City Hall was being constructed around the same time that the 1893 Columbian Exposition was being built. One of the most impressive features of this building is that it stands on 22 feet thick granite and brick walls. From the base to the statue of William Penn on the main tower, this was the tallest habitable building in the world, at 548 feet, or 167 meters, until 1908. As the end of this video, let's take a look at some of these magnificent Tartarian buildings. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.